You know, they they say that age kills the fire inside of a man, that he hears death coming. He opens the door and says, come in, give me rest. That is a pack of lies. I've got enough fight in me to, to devour the world. So, I fight. Welcome to Greece. You're watching The Nomad Barber. Hey everyone, we're currently in Greece in the first stop of the Nomad Barber series. We've been to three barber shops, all with totally different styles. The first stop was the 1900 barber shop run by Paniotis. I was interested in the sort of unique feel he was trying to create for his shop, and it was a great excuse to get a shave. Well, the main idea is uh, to have a men's club, okay, where you can get your haircut and shave in it, than a barber shop where you can gather in. The aim is not exactly, you know, the service itself, but the full package we're offering. When I came to Greece, I couldn't find this environment, so I had to settle, you know, with uh, uh, women hairdressers and stuff like that. And the idea was always in my mind, you know, to, to have my own barbershop. A great shop with a cool decor. Next up, we have Dianis, who runs the Don Barber and Groom. They offer treatment traditional to the typical haircut and shave, so I was interested to see what he thought traditional barbershops were lacking. I opened this place because I believe that this that comes from the traditional courier are some experiences that are more experimentalized. And I see the need for men now with the experience that they have as far as their experiences. Να ζητούν υπηρεσίε διαφορετικέ πέρα από ένα κλασικό ξύρισμα και ένα κούρεμα. Οπότε με αυτή τη λογική έκανε ένα χώρο που να μπορούν να φτιάξουν και τα χέρια του, τα πόδια του, να κάνουν αποτρίχωση, να κάνουν μασά στην πλάτη, να κάνουν μασά στο κεφάλι. Ούτω ή άλλω ο χώρο βρίσκεται σε μια περιοχή που έχει πάρα πολλού εργαζόμενου γύρω-γύρω. Οπότε είναι ένα πολύ ευχάριστο διάλειμμα για αυτού να έρχονται και να, να κάνουν κάποιε υπηρεσίε relax. What I loved about the Dumb Barber and Groom is even though it added all these treatments and different services, it managed to keep the masculinity of a barbershop. I wanted to know why barbershops were important to the people of Greece, so my final visit was to Vesalius in the barbershop. The Curio is a place where people are dramatized every time there are many events. There is a lot of people. The old people said that the Curio is like a small village. They are being gathered in the Curio, Κάποιος να κουρευτεί, θα συμμετέχουν στη συζήτηση όλοι. Πάντα ο κουρέας δια, διαδραμάτιζε πρωταρχικό έτσι, ρόλο στην, ε, στη συζήτηση που γινόταν μέσα σε ένα κουρίο. Ε, φλιαρούσε πάρα πολύ ο κουρέας, ήταν πολύ φλιαρούς, μιλούσε πάρα πολύ. Και στην αρχαία Ελλάδα, ε, όταν ο βασιλιάς Αρχέλαος πήγε στον κουρέα να κουρευτεί, τον ρώτησε ο ο κουρέας, ο Μπαρμπέρης, ε, πώς σε κύρω. Στα αρχαία το ρήμα κύρω σημαίνει κουρεύω. Πώς να σε κουρέψω. Και ο βασιλιάς του απάντησε σιωπών. Να μην μιλάει καθόλου. The Greeks brought modern barber into Europe and after seeing it today, it's still going strong. Greek barbers are very passionate people and I'm very glad to have seen it. So we're here with Tizius, uh, we're near the Acropolis in Athens and uh, he just met us, he met us through uh, Instagram and he's offered to trade a couple of things. <laughs> now we're going to cut his hair. Trigirome <laughs> Στην εκκλησιά το θυμιατό, το θυμιατό να καίει. Αχ, 
και ένα διάκο. Cool, so we just finished cutting Jesus' hair, looking out into the beautiful like uh, view of Athens and the Acropolis is just there, the sun just gone down. So yeah, thank you for thank you coming much. down. <laughs> thank you. Bye.